Instruction in Downers Grove School District 58 and this is a tutorial about how to use the Find My iPad or Find My iPhone app in order to find a student's device and to be able to lock it if you'd like. Uh, we're looking at My iPad right now and we hit Settings and you can see that I've hit iCloud and you can see that I've turned on the Find My iPad feature. Very important, if it's not on, it won't work. Go out of the home screen. Now I can use either another device or I could go to uh, using a web browser to iCloud.com and I'm given the option to log in. I'm going to log in with the iCloud account that's on the device. And I sign in. We don't want to add any of that information right now. It's the first time I've signed into that account. And I am on the thing. Now, once I'm looking, I've accessed through iCloud.com to my mail, to my contacts, to my calendar, to my notes, to reminders, or keynote numbers, or pages if I'm interested. Not interested right now. I'm interested in the Find My iPhone feature. So if I click that on, now it is looking for my device. It is now pinpointed through the device which is on the Wi-Fi network and I can see which devices I have to choose. There's my little device. I is found where I'm located and now I have some options. It was located less than a minute ago. I can do the following things. If I don't know where it is, I could play the sound. It will sound like sonar. I could put it in lost mode which allows me to lock it down or I can erase the Pi Pad if it's truly lost and I won't be able to access to it. First, we're going to go to the play the sound feature. You can see I hit play sound. And on my device, I'm getting the find my iPad alert. Hit OK. That is very useful in the house when you can find out where it is and what it is doing through. Like, for example, when my, my children puts it under the couch, I can find where the iPad has been. The second feature is to do lost mode. If I hit lost mode, now I can lock it and I enter a passcode along the way. I encourage you not to use the passcode lock that is on the screen, but nor your restrictions code, but one that's a separate code that you will know. In this case, I'm going to use 0000. I would never use 1234 or 0000 in real life, but they're great for demo units. So I've done this. Now I can put a number where they can reach me at along the way. I'm going to not do that right now. I can also put a little note on it. This is a test of me locking down my iPad. Hit done. It is going into lost mode. If we look at the screen, you can see it's locked down. And it's got the note of this is a test of me locking down my iPad. I open it and I need to enter that passcode that we just created in order to get this done. While this is very useful to lock down a lost device, it's also very, very useful if a child has been given several warnings that we need to move on and we need to do something different and they refuse to put down their pad, we can always passcode it and lock it down as a management tool and it requires the passcode to get back in. This is how we can use Find My iPad for both lost devices and for locking a device down. We hope that this has been helpful for you. Thank you very much and have a marvelous day.